All right, I got the last bolt out. We're ready to tear it apart for today's Garage Ed segment on alternators and charging systems. Welcome back to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. We're talking about the alternator today. What is the alternator? What does it do and how does it work? That's important. Well, an alternator is actually a mechanical driven component that charges your car. It charges it when the car's running. That's what happens. The battery supplies all the electricity when it's not. When it's running, it's the alternator's job. Well, how does it work? Electromagnetic induction. That's a big word, hence the nice lab coat. We're going to go through here and we're going to look at induction. Now this is pretty cool because I can actually produce it here on the meter. That's when a wire cuts some magnet here and it induces a voltage. Watch that meter right here. I can actually prove it right here. So as I'm going up and down you can see that actually flicking from a positive to negative as I cut through there. I'm actually creating a voltage or a pressure into that wire with electromagnetic induction. Now you can take a look at this animation right here. This is pretty cool because we looked at a starter in a couple shows ago. This one here actually shows it spinning. What's happening is the rotor inside of the alternator spinning, it's magnetized and it's inducing a voltage out to those outer magnets, which is actually the stator assembly, and that's what's producing the voltage. I can show it to you right here in action. This would be the rotor, and that's going on, it's spinning inside your alternator. This is what's belt driven. Out here is the stator assembly. Now I have no external power supply going to this, and I can spin it. And you can see, no matter which way I spin it, I'm producing a voltage here. And what's happening, it's an AC output. You can see that little LED light flicking, it's actually doing it with nothing. Now an alternator, we actually put a little voltage to it. I want to pull one apart and show you everything that's going inside. I got this one ready. I actually took off the voltage regulator right here, which is cool because these are the brushes that supply power to the actual rotor assembly. I'll show you that. Here's my end frame. You got some bushings inside of here. We'll do some diagnosis in the next show. We'll look at what goes wrong with that. And then I want to show you some of the components inside this thing. So if I separate this, you can see the front quarter. And then right here is the heart of the alternator. This is actually the rotor assembly. The rotor assembly has these claw poles all on here and a big wire winding in there. I'm going to magnetize in a little while because this actually makes a ginormous magnet. And that's what induces voltage into this stator assembly. Now the stator assembly takes that and there's different phases. It's three phase, could be delta wound, could be Y wound, but I'm inducing a voltage in there, but it's an AC voltage. So we have to convert it with a rectifier or a diode trio, some way to send it out as a DC voltage. Now this is a cool part too, because this feeds the voltage into the actual rotor assembly. Alternator only charges what a battery needs. So what a battery needs is going to be determined by the voltage in on the voltage regulator side, and we're going to magnetize this. Check this out. This thing is a ginormous magnet. Now, this would be demonstrating basically uh, full fielding if I was putting all the voltage to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up right here on this side. And then I'm going to complete the circuit. And when I complete the circuit, I'm going to turn this rotor assembly into a giant magnet. I'm going to get rid of this stuff because it's such a big magnet, it's probably going to suck it right into it. So if I put the socket right there and I magnetize this joker like that right there, and then I take that magnet, bam, and I release it, and that goes. I mean, I could put it right there, and it pulls it in. I could wheel it up. So that's what's happening. You're full field in this ginormous magnet. When you full field that, you're actually charging your system and everything's good to go. Now there's a lot of components here, but Rock Auto has a lot of talk about when it comes to charging systems. Well, the alternator is the heart of the system. It has to produce all that electrical power while the car is running. Tom, the truth of the matter is, I mean, these cars today, they are riddled with electronics and they keep becoming more and more and more. And the alternator has to keep up and, and they're suffering. I mean, they're, they're having a hard time keeping up, creating a lot of heat in the, in the process. What do you guys have for alternators? Yeah, you're, you're right. You hear about microprocessors doubling your output every five years or whatever. Well, there's been a quiet renaissance going on in, in alternators. Go back to 1955, we have a generator for a full-size Chevy. Generators were kind of like starter motors, one winding. It, it, they would uh, not be able to have great output if the engine's just idling or, or uh, low RPM. Yeah, so I click on the info button, I see, oh, this generator has 30 amp output. Well, if I go 20 years into the future and I look at a uh, 1975 full-size Chevy, see what its alternator's putting out, I see uh, 63 amps, so in 20 years, we, we've doubled the output of, uh, of the uh, alternator. We moved to alternators and doubled the output. It's cool to mention we went from a generator to an alternator, so we were able to do that, but keep going, there's even more. Yep, yeah, if we jump a get ahead another 20 years, go to a 1995 full-size Chevy, the output of the alternators increased to over 100 amps, 105 amps. 
and then we'll jump ahead another 20 years to 2015, fairly recently, uh, full-size Chevy, and we're up to 170 amps. Wow, yeah. And, and, and today's cars, you, you have the electric seats and everything, some cars are well over 200 amps. Well, stick around, there's a really interesting video question of the week right after this break. There's plenty more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com.